Greetings gardeners. It's another beautiful, if not dry and windy day here in California. Uh, garden is growing well and I've been working in the greenhouse behind me and it just sort of dawned on me today how important it is to have a home greenhouse. I think it's an essential. I don't see how most gardeners could actually get along without at least having the mini greenhouse version or what we call a cold frame which is you know an old storm window on top of wood box or something uh, which works. It works. It's not as easy to use because you have to get down on your hands and knees. Uh, the walk-in greenhouse like the one behind me here is definitely a, a superior situation. It's a little more flexible for temperature control because it's taller and the heat rises overhead whereas a cold frame you can cook your tomato plants really fast if you leave it shut in the sun. Uh, the greenhouse has a little bit more space for temperature. Um, but it's also real nice because I don't like getting on my knees much anymore anyway and so walking around inside with my plants standing and looking at them on the bench is definitely a plus. But well, let's come on inside and have a look at what's going First on. First thing here. I'd like to point out is the greenhouse has only four points of contact with the earth here. Uh, I'm using concrete blocks that are cast into the soil uh, with a little bit of concrete below them as footings. They sit only right in the corners of the greenhouse. There's one right here, there's another one over there in the other corner, one up in the front corner and so on. Uh, they have redwood slab that's been anchored to the top of it as a nailing slab and then literally everything else that this greenhouse is built out of is old pieces of redwood and they're nailed down to the to the concrete foundation so it doesn't blow Here away. we have my doorway uh, which has on it a magnetic screen this is really trick watch this <laughs> parts just like that let it go bang bang click click right back together again so cool it's just a magnetic screen it keeps a lot of the bugs out and it keeps out the birds for sure so things don't come in here but I can ventilate the building we have an actual door that's right over here. Um, it's built out of an old window and a bunch of pieces of redwood, just like that. Well, here we are inside the home greenhouse. Here's the bench in front of us, uh, all made out of redwood. Stood it up on legs underneath there. We got uh, an electrical circuit in here that runs this heater mat here on the bench. Uh, that warms the flats so the seeds come up. Right now I'm doing a lot of vegetables in here. Um, I've got some peppers and we got some tomatoes. Ooh, right here is a row of Chico Sapote seedlings coming up. How's that? I bet there's five people out there desperately seeking a Chico Sapote tree in a year when these are ready. Uh, we got the uh, yellow dragon fruit mother plant in here that I use for propagation growing all the way up to the ceiling. All this stuff over here is all made out of old scrap redwood that was all cut down. Old pieces of window glass. You can see here I built frames and set the glass into it. Two walls and the roof are actually all made from uh, uh, the UV stable polyethylene. And uh, this stuff so far has been in here now for uh, seven years. They said it was stable for five years to the sun but it's put up with more than that so it's gone two years beyond what they claimed it was good for it looks like it'll take in another couple of years yet before it fades away over here on the other side we're using uh, regular old window sash that are set, set into the redwood there uh, some of those are on hinges so that I can unbuckle them and swing them out so that we can open up the whole greenhouse and let the wind come through I have screens over them so the bugs and the birds can't fly right in. Over here we got some regular steel shelves set up on the south side of the greenhouse where it's sunny. And more pepper plants up there on the top shelf and I got white pineapple plants over here. We got geranium cuttings and lots and lots of tomatoes. I just got done cutting off my flat of spinach pack there and made a wilted spinach salad. That was absolutely delicious. Uh, here's a flat of purple passion vine seedlings 
and get a few succulent cuttings there. And over here on this side, I have brought in uh, my blueberry bushes in pots, five gallon buckets here on the bench. Uh, they're fruited up at this point, and they have the green berries on them. There you can see them. Some of them are even turning a little bit blue. Uh, I've brought them in here because uh, the birds will eat all the berries if I leave them outside without covers, and so I've found it easy. At this time of the year, I've moved most of my tree seedlings and most of my garden vegetable plants out of the greenhouse, and so the blueberries come inside the greenhouse for shelter. Uh, it works nicely. A few bromeliads and some orchid cactuses and such up there happening. Um, the floor of my greenhouse is built completely of soil with a uh, industrial grade weed block over the top of it. And the weed block comes up to below the window line there so the whole place is literally completely lined with this stuff. It makes a really really nice easy to clean floor that water will go right through. Over here on this side I'm using the underside of my potting bench for storage of containers. I got all kinds of flats and pots that sit over here. Here we are on the other side of the greenhouse wall. Um, I'm in my, my carpenter shop. My carpenter shop is actually also transparent. Uh, the main reason it's transparent is because it's adjacent to my greenhouse and if I'd made it solid then I'd have lost a lot of the light that went inside my greenhouse. It also allows me to use the carpenter shop for doing things like drying macadamia nuts, which we have plenty of macadamia nuts being dried at the moment in here. Um, but if it gets really, really cold outside and I have to protect some of my nursery stock, um, I can take the nursery stock, fold up my saws and bring it in here set it down on the floor uh, so this doubles as an extra greenhouse it also doubles when I sweep up the sawdust and clean down the spiders as a tropical cabin for guests who happen to stop in and they can sleep over here on the futon frame uh, out back in the rear of the yard uh, up underneath the uh, walnut and the macadamia nut guarded by the San Pedro cactus So. Here we're looking at a greenhouse structure. This one uh, probably cost me about $250 to put this one up. It uh, does have um, purchased uh, Lexan panels in the roof. That's what cost me more money than anything, was buying the plastic roof for the thing. Um, fixtures up here for the lights, they're recycled. Uh, the, the armored cable for the electrical system in here was all recycled from uh, one of the Silicon Valley industrial that went bankrupt uh, tore all the wiring out so I have wired the place with a beautiful armored cable that you could not cut through with a with an axe um, I paid a little money to get plastic gutters to catch water that comes off the greenhouse and divert it so it doesn't come in here but in general uh, the only real money is in the roofing you know, the same goes with my greenhouse. My greenhouse is worth less than $200. Uh, everything is recycled wood by and large. Uh, it cost me quite a bit to get the UV stable polyethylene that I'm using and then the uh, heating mat that is under the plants with a the thermostat also cost pretty good. So we're a little under $200 for the greenhouse, a bit over $200 for the carpenter shop. Uh, nice old growth redwood timbers we got fence boards for the side walls the framing is made from posts from the nursery I used to run here in town the uh, floor is made from a redwood deck that I uh, dismantled for a customer bunch of junk but it's great I love it so if you haven't got a greenhouse in your garden and if you're holding out on building one because you think it costs too much, guess again, you're limited really only by your own creativity and what materials you might recycle. There is a lot of trash out there that uh, could be used to build one of these. Old windows, old lumber, and so on. Um, or you could spend the money to have a beautiful prefab one brought in and 
put that up yourself. Or you can hire guys like me to come in and set one up for you. Uh, or you could just build a cold frame out of an old storm window and a wood box. A lot of possibilities. They don't have to be particularly expensive, uh, but they are very, very functional. I really just couldn't get by in this world without my greenhouse. Uh, I put one up almost every place I've ever lived. Uh, it's an essential. Happy gardening. Enjoy your greenhouse. If you have one, put it to the full use. If you haven't got one, it's time to get one. Right, woodpecker? Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. How you doing up there? He flew away on me. Hello. Oh,